As we enter into, once again, the season of Lent, we traditionally focus in on fasting, giving things up, what changes we want to make internally. Well, all those things are very important. During this season of Lent, I'd like to focus a little bit differently and really look at one of the reoccurring, consistent commands Jesus gives us throughout the Gospel, and that's to go out, to go out and make disciples. It's the same thing we keep hearing from Pope Francis again and again. And we can't just be a church that's just worried about ourselves. We've got to go out and share the good news of Jesus with others. You know, sometimes as Catholics, we hear that command, go out and make disciples, and we think Jesus is talking about to the Pope, to the bishops, to the priests, to the nuns, all the people who work for the church. But that's a falsehood, because Jesus is talking to all of us. By virtue of our baptism, all of us are called to first be disciples and then to make disciples. And that's not about building churches or setting up programs or preaching a homily. But that's simply about sharing the impact Jesus has made to you with someone else. That's how disciples are made, one-on-one. -on -one. That's what Simon, James, and John, and Andrew, and all the other apostles did. By sharing the impact Jesus had made in their lives and the difference with someone else. And by allowing that door to open just enough that the Holy Spirit could come in and Christ could do the rest. Instead of focusing so much on ourselves, though that's important, let's focus on the bigger picture. What do I need to change about myself so that I can be a better disciple, so that I can make disciples of someone else? And as we go through the season of Lent, those are going to be some of the difficult questions, some of the challenging questions I'm going to be asking all of us. What are we doing to make disciples? And are we a disciple ourselves? As we begin this journey of Lent, I think that's the question the Lord asks us in the Gospel. It's the question the Holy Father asks us, and it's the question I'm asking as well. Not a sermon, but a question for all of us to think about.